Hey everybody, I am rocking a great case of bedhead and it's Monday morning after a tiny house festival weekend. And um I'm <laughs> I'm a little tired. <laughs> you know, a lot tired actually. But we had a fantastic time and uh, I came out here we were we were so close to being able to take this bus with us to this event and um, the DMV stuff didn't come through in time. We did see the inspector last week. He did come through and look at the bus. Actually, while we weren't even here, that was kind of fun. Because, uh, you know, if they if they come through when you're not here, you don't know if they'll actually do it or you'll have to reschedule and then, you know, that's another delay of however many months. So, um, it wasn't legal to take our bus. And I was going to give you a tour this morning of what you missed by our lethargic DMV being slow. But when I unlocked my van <laughs> bus, I found mold. So uh, Florence came through recently and, and actually it wasn't a big deal right here, but in places around here there was some flooding. Um, so we had no Florence damage. We just had a lot of rain and muggy, muggy. Virginia has been really muggy this summer fall and so when I opened up the bus door <laughs> the steering wheel is covered in mold ah and so I'm gonna go pull out the thieves cleaner and make that go away you know when I get some energy which might not happen right this minute but mold and I are not friends and mold and tiny houses are not friends um, that's why I think it's fantastic to keep your thieves household cleaner around or keep a couple of good essential oils around that can knock that stuff out pretty quick so that's pretty important to do and that will be on my list today um, we are gonna turn around and and do another little trip here we've got some pipe organs to attend to so um, you know we're here at home base for a little bit and then out we go again which is cool yeah, really. It's great. Actually, it's great. So the, the best part about a tiny house festival, number one, you get to go see really cool houses. And um, I think the I've, I've seen a lot of tiny houses now. And they don't, like, freak me out like they used to. <laughs> what I mean by that is at the beginning I was like, oh, it's tiny. It's so cute. I adore it. It's lovely. When can I move in? Now I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Oh, I see what you did there. I'm good with that. Um, you know what? Some of them out there are amazing, and some of them are not that amazing. And the ones that really still speak to me are the ones that have been made by some young people who are creative in engineering and uh, vernacular engineering and... <laughs> Are just putting together these spaces that work and over and over again the part I love about tiny houses is seeing people come in look around and say to themselves you know I know I can't do that and by that I mean the big tiny house the big hundred thousand dollar tiny house I know I can't do that but this thing you know looking around at the inside of a sprinter van or a box truck this I could probably do and when you see that light go on and you know how that puts people in a whole different level of freedom. That's the part that gets really exciting about a tiny house festival. The other part that I really love about tiny house festivals is what happens uh, on Saturday evening after the gates close. They pulled out a fantastic kind of Tex-Mex spread of food and it was fantastic. Did I mention it was fantastic? It was actually really great food. And um, <laughs> we had just got to hang out with other tiny house people and vendors and, you know, just comparing notes. One guy showed me pictures of uh, traveling through Montana and on the interstate and the wind just came through and <laughs> took out his RV and bus, I mean truck that was not a happy day but his story was amazing and it was really cool to see how over and over again these people are survivors and picking up pieces in uncomfortable situations and going forward and making really 
amazing lives out of a deal. You know, coming back from tragedy and, in that case, trauma, you know. Um, this community is full of the most amazing people. We were there because Vinny was not um, finished. I mean, legal for the DMV. We were there staying in our Mercedes. Uh, yes, sleeping in a car, which sounds like it would be really uncomfortable. And it's a little bit uncomfortable, but not nearly as bad as you would think. <laughs> over and over again, I mean, it, was, it wasn't it was something we were hiding that we were staying in the car. And over and over again, people were like, well, you can come, you know, we've got sp space here, come bunk with us, or, you know, there's this option or that option, you know, swing by. Well, we were actually pretty comfortable where we were, so, um, but that's, so we didn't take anybody up on those offers, but what was beautiful about that is this sense of hospitality in this community. Um, these are people without homes in the traditional sense. There's no foundation. The foundation is a wheel, you know? Um, but you will never meet people who are more hospitable than when you get in this community. I mean, literally on Saturday night, well, let's take the bus, was, <laughs> you know, pile in. Oh, here's two more people. Do you want to come? Pile in. And we went out, got some great food, had a great time. Uh, I had tasted probably the most amazing bourbon I've ever had in my life. That's an education in itself. <laughs> I mean, come on, little Mennonite girl who's never had anything like spectacular. Well, I mean, anyway, <laughs> alcohol was never my jam, but just to even inhale something that well crafted was amazing. Um, and that part might have to be edited out because I know my mama's watching. <laughs> or, you know, let's just be real, she's not. So, <laughs> so what happens after the gates are closed and we are just us weirdos together in a, in a venue eating great food, um, talking about our lives and comparing notes and learning from each other. Uh, that kind of crazy, amazing group of people who get it that simplicity is the thing. It's not the house. It's not the bus. It's not the van. It's not whatever. It's not even the Airstream. Although, come on, Airstreams are cool. It's simplicity. Simplicity is what makes this work. Um, and community. I mean, the, the level of hospitality in, in this group of people is off the charts. And that will, again, be one of the amazing things. And This is really cool that home is in this place among these people. It has nothing to do with foundation. It has nothing to do with walls. It is a group of people that don't get to see each other nearly often enough, but who live this life that's outside the box. And it's amazing to be a part of that even for a few minutes and then go back to my pretty normal life. Um, so that really is the part about a tiny house uh, event that I really enjoy. And I need to go, and we're, we've got a pipe organ that needs attention, <laughs> so I gotta get out of here. Well, first I need to bring the Thieves um, essential oils up here and clean the mold out of my schoolie, because that sucks. That's not cool. You don't belong here, go home. I'm talking to the mold, not the neighbor. The neighbor belongs here. <laughs> All right, so when I've had more sleep, I will like comb my hair and talk to you again. Um, and I may actually be coherent at that point, but the truth of it is, <laughs> this is what I look like sort of when I get out of bed and I haven't slept much, but I've had a really fantastic weekend. And this is just kind of the real, this is the real. I love this community. It's not about the houses, it's about the people. And it's just really, it's really cool. It's really cool. So, you know, put down your phone, have a moment, <laughs> have an adventure. Put down the phone, put down the phone, put down the phone, rule one. Um, so I don't come back with a, oh, look who's here. Come on over. <laughs> he's not awake either. So let's see what he looks like when he's not awake either. Come on. <laughs> Go. Yes. Yeah, <it's>, you know. <laughs>
No, 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 scoot! See, there's an, a tripod in the way, so he's actually gonna have to. Yeah, so we gotta go work on a pipe organ, um, and that's how quickly the, the focus changes. Let's do this thing. Okay? Bye.